Anyway, um, today I'm, I'm reviewing Anisian's book, which is like, what the fuck, I don't remember his name. Anyway, he's Nietzsche, but based, you know, like, he loves being like, I'm so pessimistic, but let me give in to my desires every time. I need self-control and everyone's a loser, but I don't have any self-control myself. Um, and I don't know how to interact with humans. I look down on people, yet I wonder why they think I'm weird. Um, uh, uh, chapter one. I'm pessimistic because I have no friends. Uh, it's because he has no friends. I hate my dad and any roast dad and and you know some of the roasts are valid but I don't even know if this is real I don't know if it's an autobiography or anything I think it is but like some of the situations I highly doubt like a lot of them ha like caused great suspicion upon this probably hasn't occurred um this dude needs to talk to some normal people um, the more it seems in the book he talks to people, the more he's like, oh, I like life, but then he doesn't talk to people. He only has, yeah. Um, so he's got antisocial personality disorder, pretty much. He hates people because he has no friends and wants everyone to shut up. Um, yeah, it's because he has no friends and no one likes him. I, I wonder why. Um, he wants to fuck the disruptor, acts like things don't matter. Pretty much like anytime something happens, the thing that happens controls his life and every action he does after to an extreme degree. So he's pretty much acting on the other people simply because they annoyed him. And like, he's pretty much letting other people's actions dictate his own life. He's kind of based, he, 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 hates, uh, he hates interacting with shallow people, even though... He admits to being shallow himself. Um, he, he's roasting fat people, you know, kind of based. Wow, that's, that's so cool. Um, roasting his stepmom. Again, I don't know if anything's real. He's he's a horny young man. Uh, he likes his dead mom. Dad's kind of a dick, lol. Doesn't believe in anything. Yeah, he, like, he doesn't really, like, have the best personal beliefs. Like, it's pretty much like you look upon it like a self-fulfilling prophecy. And you're like, my life's so shit. Well, yeah. He doesn't do anything to better himself or, like, better his life. A lot of things. And, like, a lot of these things are just solvable whilst talking it through. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, he's Nietzsche because he, he's very profound. But it's, like, thoughts that majority of people have thought of. And if you haven't thought about, like, the thoughts discussed in this book, well, I guess, I don't know. Uh, chapter 3, dude's so pathetic, I kind of feel bad. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, he has a little temper tantrum, just fuck your girlfriend. Or whatever so floats your boat, you know. Stop having a little baby, baby moment. Um, military something. I, I don't, I like, I kind of started zoning out when I was, like, reading this part. Um, a lot of the, like, views are very stark in one side. I think, like, we get, like, half of a story. Um, hada, hada, military. Military is mean to me. Who would have expected? Wow, big shock. Um, and it's like, I hate everyone here, but, like, everyone gets treated like shit and like if you step out of like eh, it's just typical military shit like what you expect um he has no self-control um south korea i don't know he was like into some girl or something and they leave and then he comes back because of like a school shooting or some shit i don't know because like i thought this was supposed to be an autobiography but like a lot of the situations where he beats up other people and stuff like that seem indefinitely fake um ooga booga that's like pretty much what i think of the the thing i know my thoughts are very advanced i don't think i can connect to all of you um you're just peasants and like if you don't understand ooga booga you're just fucking retarded anyway that's like reading the book that is how i define reading the book i know uh, it, it 
took me a little while. I know this presentation blew your mind. 